Now we're going to start off with using the Garnier Micellar Water. Now I use this to cleanse my face before I apply any makeup on, just to get rid of any dirt that is still on my face, so we can start off with a nice clean base. Next I'm going to go in using a Rehydrating Rose Daily Moisturiser Lotion. Now I love applying this on my face as a base only because it keeps my face nice and hydrated especially if I'm going to be having a full face of makeup on and it just feels so so good on my skin. So guys if you have normal to dehydrated skin this would be perfect for you because it helps to replenish and nurtures your skin. So we're going to start off using my spoolie and just brushing my brows upwards just to get them into the shape that I want to create. Now guys, yes, I'm using a pencil and it only costs a pound. So I start off with drawing the tail of my brow and I work my way towards the front of my brow. I then go back in with my spoolie just to brush it out some more just so I'm creating that nice natural looking brow and I tend to try not to draw too much on towards at the front of my brow but I will definitely get the pencil and just fill in just so the hairs and everything blend in just because we don't want no black brows okay then I'm going to go in with my angled brush and using my LA Girl Concealer in the colour Fawn. Then we're going to blend that all out with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I'm going to go back in using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Fawn and we're going to sculpt the top of these brows just so they're looking clean at the top as well as at the bottom. And guys, don't forget to blend because we don't want no halo looking brows. Apply some Benai powder just so that concealer is set. So before I apply my eyeshadow, the base is nice and set so when we put on the shadow, the colours be popping, okay? Now I'm going to go in using this eyeshadow palette that I found on Amazon and it's meant to be a dupe for one of the Morphe palettes. Now I'm here for all these dupes, okay? But some of the colours in this palette wasn't as pigmented as I thought it would be, especially the glitters. But apart from that, this is a really, really nice eyeshadow palette and I would definitely recommend it to you if you're looking for something that is not as expensive as the Morphe palette. Now, I just believe it's because I'm extra as hell. So, the glitter for me wasn't as popping as I wanted it to be. So, I went in and used some of my glitter pots that I got off of eBay. Just so, you know, it got that extra boom. Now, I do go back in after I apply the glitter with my blending brush. Just to blend some more and make sure that there's no harsh lines. And the eyes are looking all nice and blended. After that I go back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Fawn just to clean the sides of this eye look so they look snatched. Next I'm going to be using my White Tea Facial Mist from Nils Yard Remedies. Now I love spraying this on my face and then applying my foundation straight after just because it gives me that nice dewy look that I love to go for. Now I'm going to go in using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the colour Coconut. Now guys if you know where I can get this in London please please help me out because I got this one while I was in Trinidad and this is like just amazing I'm going to use the LA Pro Conceal to highlight I find that this helps to brighten underneath my eyes I 
I also apply this on my chin, upper lip and forehead. Then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend this all out. To set this I'm going to use my favourite Sasha Buttercup in the shade Banana to set all the highlighted areas. Now I'm going to sweep away all the baking powder and you can use any powder brush to do so. Now to contour, I'm going in using my Sleek Contour and Blush Palette in the colour Dark. Next I'm going to go in using my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix All Control Fixing Spray. Now I like to apply this after I've done most of the makeup but just before my highlight so it can give it that extra glow baby. Then my favourite part, highlight. Once I blend that out, I like to go in using my MAC Dark Deep just to give it that nice bronzy effect. Now, the lip combo that I'm using here is with an MUA pencil that you can find in Superdrug, a metallic lip gloss that you can get from Revolution and a plain lip gloss from Miss Sporty. I'm gonna apply some mascara because my lashes looking kind of lost right now and then I applied some falsies off camera now thank you guys so 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 much I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for all the love and support and if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials please leave a comment down below see you guys soon